I remember one of my brothers Amen. was on police patrol years ago. Amen. Brother Kenyatta. Mm -hmm. Never met me before. Amen. But he gave me a beautiful testimony. Amen. Years later, he said, I was on patrol sitting in my car. And he said, you know me from the hood. Straight, hard, starched. Mm -hmm. He said, I never heard of you before. He said, I was on duty, I turned the radio on. Mm -hmm. He said, next thing I know, I'm sitting here with a police uniform on, shirt getting all wet. Lord. He said, I was in there just crying. He said, the message was just blasting through the radio mm -hmm. until it just got all in my heart and I couldn't contain myself. My Lord. God wants to break your heart. That's it. That's break it. it. That's right. You're too proud. Amen. You're too stubborn. stubborn. That's right. You are too materialistic. That's right. You're too high minded. Amen. God. That's right. Let me tell you something. When you want God, you are bringing your heart. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. Uh, That's right. Don't do it. You are bringing your heart. That's right. You see, when the word said, present your body. As a living sacrifice, God want that heart. At the heart, that's right. Set on the altar. That's right. Then the word start banging it. That's right. Listen, let me give you some knowledge. That's right. Go ahead. In cooking, mm. you may take some steak Amen. or a tough meat. Mm -hmm. And there's this hammer looking thing. Mm -hmm. You know, got like little spikies on it. That's right. Yeah, hit it. What it do is start softening up that meat. That's right. Tenderize it. That's what God is. That's right. A heart tenderizer. Yes, he is. Huh? That's right. You get what I'm telling you? That's right. He's a heart tenderizer. Oh, yeah. Jeremiah. God told Jeremiah, is not my word like a hammer. Like a hammer. Like and see, your heart is like stone. That's right. And this why you're so stubborn. Because right. the pictures you got can't use a hammer. That's right. The hammer too heavy for him. Heavy for him. So God give the hammer to his servant. Oh, yes. Teach him how to sling it. That's right. How to use the weight thereof. That's right. Work on the heart. Work. Amen. You'll find yes, that white man being baptized with the black one. That's right. Work on the heart of that homosexual. Amen. He straighten up. That's right. And disconnect himself from his boyfriend. That's right. Work on the heart from the crackhead. That's right. God is a meat tenderizer. Amen. Tenderize your heart. That's right. That's right. You start finding yourself repenting for things you never will repent for. Amen. You'll find yourself going and apologize to people. Right. Where there was a time, you wouldn't apologize to nobody. That's right. That's right. That's You'll right. find yourself saying, I'm sorry. That's right. But looking at your past, you never were sorry about nothing. nothing. Amen. What's happening? God. That's right. Tenderizing the heart. Is not my word like as a fire, saith the Lord? And like a hammer. He's beating on your heart. That's Come right. Here. That's right. You understand? Amen. God beats on your heart. Oh, yes. Viewer, this program is designed to beat your heart. Beat your heart. That's right. Beat all the three gods out of it. That's right. Beat the remarriage and divorce syndrome out of it. That's right. Mm. God will take your past. Amen. Clean it up. Amen. Reinsure your confidence. That's right. Give you something that's stronger than it ever was. That's right. All God asks you to do, bring yourself. That's it. That's right. What do you mean? Bring yourself is more than just coming to church. Uh, yes. The church is symbolized to the Old Testament altar. You, us, you. You are the sacrifice. sacrifice. That's right. You must bring. Present your bodies. Glory. In the book of Romans chapter 12 verse 1. I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of God. That ye present your bodies. Listen. Your body. Mm -hmm. Has to be the gift. That's right. You see the sacrifice was a gift offering. That's right. To God. That's right. See. You must be a gift. Hmm. To God. That's right. Huh? That's right. But for him accepted, it has to be from the heart. Mm -hmm. Someone said, well, Pastor Jennings, how can I be a gift to God if I'm a sinner? I mean, I'm an unclean gift. That's why God wants you. 
Right. So he can clean you up. Yeah, that's right. If you already clean, what you need them for? You already right. That's right. My God, you come along and present your dirty self to him. That's it. Here you are, dirty offering. That's filthy. Filthy. Unworthy of him. Amen. Prostitute. Yeah. Primp. Liar. Deceiver. Yeah. Gangbanger. That's right. Murderer. Mm. All that comes to God. That's right. God says, that whosoever will, let him come. Let him come. All so God wants you to do is come to him. He'll do the rest. He'll do the rest. That's right. You see, you prick has been telling people that God don't do well in the unclean temple. That's where God start working at, in the unclean temple. That's right. You're already clean, you don't need God. That's right. God said in the book of Kings that he dwell in the thick darkness. The thick darkness. My God, if you in the thick darkness, that's unclean. Then spake Solomon. Give me the book of Kings. First Kings uh, chapter 8 and verse 12. Listen. Then spake Solomon. Then spake Solomon. The Lord said. The Lord said. That he would that dwell. That he would dwell. In thick darkness. Now what you said. <laughs> that's right. I got on dwelling no unclean temple. Liar. The Lord said that he would. Everything in the world is unclean. That's right. That's why we need God that he may be consistent in cleaning you up. That's right. I got the church is a laundry mat. That's right. That's right. Huh? Amen. The cleaning solution is the word of God. That's right. Huh? That's right. Just the right amount of detergent he throw on you. Amen. You see, some of us got some stubborn stains. <laughs> huh? Glory take God. Some of us got some stubborn stains. For he is like a refiner's fire. Listen at the book of Malachi. Malachi chapter 3 and at verse 2. Listen at the way the Bible describes God. For he is like a refiner's fire. He is like a refiner's fire. And like fuller's soap. You see, he is like full of soap. Soap. Uh -huh. That's right. And he shall sit as he shall a refiner. Sit as what? As a refiner. As a refiner. And purifier. Purifier. Of silver. You see, all of us need cleaning. Oh, yes. You need washing. You need washing. Give me Isaiah, son. Mm -hmm. I believe uh, 116, 116, if I'm correct. Amen. You need washing. Isaiah. You, uh, you know you're dirty. Some of you looking at me right now, sucking cigarettes, got a six pack of beer, and your girlfriend sitting there. That's right. Looking at me now. My Lord. Yeah, I'm talking to you. That's right. Dirty, dirty, dirty. filthy, mm -hmm. and wretched. That's right. Some of you faggots are watching me. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, man. Yeah. Go, ahead. Go ahead. Oh, yes. Some of you faggots are looking at me. That's right. You understand. That's right. Some of you dykes, you watching me. Amen. Mm -hmm. him, Listen at this. Isaiah 1 and verse 16. I want to get the dirty viewers. Wash you. Do what? Wash you. What God want to do to them? Wash you. Wash them. Wash you. That's what God want to do. You're dirty laundry. That's all you are. That's right. Don't need to thank you so high. No. Thank you somebody. You're nothing but dirty laundry. That's all. You know, dirt and ashes. Amen. That's Why it. dirt and ashes so proud? That's all you are. That's dirt all. and ashes. That's dirty it. laundry. That's all. Huh? Wash you. You understand? Mm -hmm. I was thinking of what my, I don't know, the Holy Ghost brought it to, to me this morning, of what my brother said last night. Uh, from Jamaica, uh, the come, but then it came to me, well, that would, that would be incorrect. Yeah. Mm. Because there's dirty laundry everywhere. That's everywhere. Right. That's right. Huh? Amen. That's because true. there are people that's not up to the word of God, or even if there's people that's hard head, everybody still come. That way they'll eliminate people's mind thinking that somebody else in another location is higher or better than them. When they're able to see, yeah, they got the same struggles we got. That's right. It's hard head and it's there. It's hard head and it's everywhere. That's true. Everywhere. The devil is everywhere. In the book of Zechariah. But the word 20. of God still must be preached still. regardless of the setting. That's, that's true. That's why the book says, be instant. How? In season. Out of season. No matter where you're at, be instant. All the way around. Amen. 
And he showed me Joshua the high priest. God, whether you're in Jamaica, Canada, South America, Brazil, Chile, Bangkok, China, Japan, everything need to come where the house of God is. That's right. Listen. Zechariah chapter 3, we're at verse 3. The book says what? Now Joshua was clothed with filthy garments. Joshua. Moses minister. Was clothed with filthy was clothed garments. With filthy garments. And stood before the angel. And stood before the angel. And he angel and he answered and spake unto those that stood before him. And maybe filthy people around the church. That's right. Don't let that keep you from coming. No. Because you filthy on your way here. That's right. That's right. You filthy on your way here. When you get here, you're still gonna be dirty. That's, That's why you gotta keep spinning in the laundromat. That's right. Just stay in the machine. Amen. She Amen. just got you. Spin, spin, the machine starts shaking. That's Put right. you on rinse. That's huh? true. Sins washed away. Wash it away. For you know it, something else you got to overcome. Amen. Some detergent dropped on that. Yeah. You're back in the machine again. That's right. Stay there. That's right. What did God say to wash and make you clean? Put away the Put away evil, evil you're doing from before my eyes. Seek to do evil. Learn, learn to, to do, do well. well. Seek judgment. Seek judgment. Relieve the oppressed. And then do what? Judge the father. Come now. Come now and let us reason together. Glory to God. Save the Lord. You hear what I'm telling you? Come now, let us the reason together. The church is for all dirty laundry. That's right. God's cleaning business. This is God's cleaning business. Amen. He got a mass laundry mat chain. That's right. Hmm? That's right. This is the washing machine. Oh, yeah. Heavenly detergent. Amen. Heavenly detergent. Though your sins be as scarlet. Though your sins be as scarlet. They shall be as white as snow. Do you hear that? Amen. This is heavenly detergent. Oh, See, that's yeah. why you fellas are yelling about the scriptures because the detergent is so strong it got you breaking out. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. Can't take the smell of it. Mm -hmm. Too strong. Too, too right. much holy pneumonia. That's right. Lord, they got so right away. That's why you viewers and radio listeners, I want you to listen closely at whoever come on after us or before. Listen at the jealousy and the hatred, how they try so hard. Oh, yeah. They try to make the, they irritated. That's right. My God, the word of God them caused them to break out. That's right. That's this right. is the greatest thing that ever hit the airways. Amen. Huh? Amen. Glory to God. What did the holy book say here? Come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord. All right, let's go back to where you were. Let's get the full of soap. Let's finish that. Amen. Back in the book God, of we want to clean the people up completely. Amen. In mind, soul, heart, and body. All right, read quick. I'm almost gone. Back in Malachi 3 and verse 2. Yes. And who shall stand when he appeareth? Who shall stand when he appeareth? For he is like a refiner's fire. He is like what? A refiner's fire. And what else? And like fuller's soap. And what else? And he shall sit as a refiner. He shall sit as as a refiner and, and purifier of silver only God can bring purification that's right that's true hmm? that's right when I go to Jamaica India Africa Europe any place I'm around sinners ain't no group better than the other any place ain't no group less than the other no I see the same thing in every group that's right everything it's the same thing same thing Glory to God, you got to be willing to be clean. That's true. Now, when you're willing, when I take my laundry and put it in the washing machine, my, my, my shirt don't fight me. No, it won't. Huh? That's right. When I carry my laundry bag downstairs, my shirt ain't fighting me. Oh, no. No, 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 Nikki, no, no. Don't put me in it now, please. No, my shirt start fighting me. I'm dropping it. Dropping it. That's right. I'm getting it out the house. Amen. That's right. That's right. All right, God, it has to submit. Yeah. Are you listening? As it is written, there is none Viewers. righteous. Viewers, mm -hmm. look at me now, hard head cigarette sucker. Amen. Yeah, I'm talking to you and your mama. That's right. Yes, your mama. That's right. And your daddy. Amen. You better repent. Better repent. You worrying about cause you young and worrying about some boyfriend. Listen, my young people, stop getting so caught up in boyfriends. Amen. Like there's nothing else in life. That's right. But a boyfriend. That's right. You don't want to be another silly statistic. 
a single young girl with a baby and nothing else. That's right. And then want to sit around for years hoping that a knight come up in bronze armor. Amen. Huh? That's right. Don't say I thought it was shiny. Well, bronze there's armor. problems going on in the world. You know, ain't that many can afford shiny armor now. No. So they got to get a low grade bronze armor. That's right. <laughs> huh? That's right. Knight in shiny armor. Yeah, well, ain't many of them around. Yeah. Not many. No. If you find one, well, may the Lord be with you. Amen. They rare. Mm -hmm. But you that are sitting around just making yourself a station stop mm. for a bunch of men. Yeah. What for? That's right. This may leave you with that baby. By the time you're done, you got about 20 children. Yeah. 20 daddies. Amen. Never get married. Mm -hmm. no. No, no, no. There is a better life. Oh, yes. Many of you watching me now, you may think I'm down talking. I'm not down talking. I'm trying to put you on the right track. That's right. Some of you got fathers that just got the title daddy and nothing else. Amen. Some of you got bums for daddies. That's true. Some of you got whores for mothers. That's right. Am I That's right? That's right. Amen. You may not like what I'm saying. Turn it off. Turn it off. You better not. That's right. Only one that don't like what I'm saying are guilty of it. Amen. You fathers, Amen. get on the job. Amen. That's right. Teach your son how to keep his parents on and stop wanting to spread seed around America Amen. like he worked for AmeriCorps. That's right. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Want to donate seed. Donate, donate. Children all over the world, these young cats around here bragging. Yeah. Yeah, man, I'm a father. No, Amen. you're not a father. No. Nah, you're just a seed dropper. That's it. You're the spillsman. That's right. <laughs> That's right. See, you're just a spillsman. Spills, right. right. I mean, go around spilling. Right. And won't take care of nothing. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I won't take care of nothing. Nothing. Spill and run. That's right. You know how folk eat and run? <laughs> he tell you, well, sorry, I got to spill, but I got to run. Got to run. Then leave you. Mm -hmm. Fatherless. That's right. No husband. And you know what makes it so strange? Some of you young generation don't mind it. Yeah. That's what I find mind baffling. Amen. You don't mind it. That's right. If you don't respect and love yourself, why expect for somebody else to do it? That's right. That's young right. men! Go ahead, man. You can't even buy a box of chocolates. Amen. <laughs> Uh, one fellow said, life is like a box of chocolates. <laughs> you never know what you're getting. <laughs> Jenny! <laughs> you never know what you're getting. My Lord. <laughs> you understand. I've got to tell you what the book said. Amen. You young fellow, some of you can't even buy a box of chocolates. And you want to make a, listen, let's have a rap session. You and I, does it make sense to get a woman pregnant and you can't even afford paper towels? Amen. Woman, does it make sense for you to act like a compass, east and west? My Lord. <laughs> My Lord. Go ahead, brother. Knowing the man can't take care of you mm -hmm. because he can't take care of himself. Uh -huh. Why would you subject yourself for volunteer pregnancy? If thou hast gathered nothing in thy youth, listen, in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 25 and verse 3, if thou hast gathered nothing in thine youth, if you ain't got nothing in your youth, how canst thou find anything in thine age? If you didn't learn since why you was young. That's right. Now see, there's many people today that if they can go back, they will change their entire existence. 
But we can't do it. But we can be around a atmosphere of wisdom today. That's right. To alter our future journey. That's right. Enhance our thinking and sharpen our intelligence. Amen. Are you listening to me, viewers, and you young people? In church or in holiness, don't feel bad because you're different. You're supposed to be. That's right. You worry about how folk look at you, so you want to shorten your dress. That's right. Well, that's what everybody's doing now. Why you got to do it? Old men in their sixties. Want to go outside with their shirt open. That's right. Oh. The grass coming out of their chest. <laughs> Showing the cabbage patch. That's right. You, Grandpa. Grand Grandpa. Want to put an earring in your ear, fool. That's right. You mothers. Go ahead, brother. Little daughters, you got the ears pierced, lipstick on, eyebrow arch, ten. Look like she's a 20 year old hoe. That's right. That's right. Grown women want to show your breasts in public. Public. Amen. Want to have a split from your ankle all the way up to your hip. Yeah. Young guys who got a decent look at a woman, but you want her to wear pants so short, everything she's born with hanging out so you can parade her. That's right. Well, I'm proud of it. If that's your best version of proud, you ain't worth having. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. I've heard sick young girls and sick young boys. Well, you know, young girls I have sat and talked to to come to meetings, you know, and I'm like, well, young sister, they tell me how to enjoy the program. I'm like, well, you know, why you want to come out like this? Well, Pastor Janice, you know, I, I think if you got it, flown it. Mm. All this rape going on in the world? My Lord. One scripture says, silly women. Silly, silly women. Ever learning. Never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Yeah. You young boys of America and the world. Amen. Stop getting these single young girls pregnant. That's right. And young girls, stop letting some fella come with diluted speech. That's right. Placating your intelligence. That's what they do. Making you believe you are what he don't believe. That's right. Let me say it again. Amen. Making you believe you are that he don't believe. Oh, he'll tell you every good lie in the book. He will quote poetry. Yes, he will. Saying to you. And you sitting there. Looking doofus. That's right. Open not thine heart to every man. Do you hear the word of God? In the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 8 and verse 19. Look at all the young people we have. Not just here, but internationally. Hundreds of them. That's right. Young woman that are watching me now, if you have a child out of wedlock, don't make it rehearsal. Yeah. No. That's right. Don't ever have the mentality, well, I just want to have babies and never get married. No. Do it the old fashioned way. No babies until you get married. That's right. That's old school. That's old school. I've had argument with old men, old to be my daddy about that. My Lord. They should have been agreeing with me. That's right. That's right. My Lord. Are you listening? Yes, Amen. What did he say? Open not thine heart to every man. Don't open your heart to every man. Don't, don't do that. That's right. See, when you're naive and green, that means you're mentally and emotionally and physically vulnerable. Oh, yeah. And a man who's experienced know where you're green at. Yeah. He know when you're the green lantern. That's right. You ain't got no power in your ring. That's right. <laughs> he know when you're the green lantern. He, he go try to juice your ring. Huh? 
It don't work. Doesn't work. See, the yellow light don't work on the green lamp. That's right. That's right. <laughs> you understand? That's Ain't no juice in you. So he is saying things slowly for the sole purpose to see how you respond to it. What is objective? Plain and simple. Most men are not interested in the intelligence of your mind. No. Let me get very raw with you, girl. Most men is not interested in the intelligence of your mind and they don't give two cents about the emotions of your heart. No, All don't. they want is your panties. That's right. That's plain. No plan in that. Did you hear it? Hey, Stacey, you better not blurt it. That's plain. You better not blurt it. That's right. Yeah, you better not blurt it. That's right. All men are not like this, but many of them are. Of them are. You trying to let them know about the strength, intelligence of the mind? That's right. A lot of them don't care how intelligent you are. No, no. They don't care nothing about your feeling. Okay, how you feel? Nothing. No, nothing. Can't nothing about your mind. Can't nothing about your heart. No, no. Girl, all they want is your panties. You're victorious. That's what they want. They want to find out what's the secret. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's right. What kind of secret is Victoria High? That's right. Do no secret thing before a stranger. <clears throat> but thou knowest not. Hold it! Yes! Amen. Still in the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 8. The book of Sarah, chapter 8. Verse 18. Verse 18. Do no secret thing. Do no secret thing. Before a stranger. A, a stranger? A stranger. Well, I love him. How? You don't even know him. That's true. My young, naive generation. You're a bait. For a pool of piranhas. Amen. Your bait. Oh, yes. The young girls today in their teens develop quicker than they did 40 years ago. Oh, yeah. They go to bed on Tuesday and with the morning they wake up, bam! <laughs> I don't know what happened. What happened? That's right. What happened? And because some of you are so naive, you find it joyful. That's right. Because some fella complimenting your behind. That's right. Some fella complimenting your breasts. Yeah. You get joy out of it. Sure. What is the pride in being passed around? Amen. Where is the pride at? Go ahead, man. Go ahead. What is that to be proud about? Amen. Fella. Why would you bad because you've been with a variety of women? What's the pride in it? That's right. Talk back to me. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. What's that to be proud of? Amen. Mm. Go ahead. You young teenagers. Go ahead. These churches church, ain't teaching nothing. No. Some go to church, hang around long enough just to get a husband. That's right. That's right. Some fellas come to church just to get a wife. You just be shouting, jacket jumping. <laughs> huh? Amen. He make his way to that sister, that sister way over there. Amen. But he keep making his way. <laughs> huh? Go ahead. She be way on the other side of the church. He's going over there. Over there. Right up on it. Just jump it. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. What's the purpose? What's the purpose? Go ahead. Listen. It's too much destruction taking place among our young women. Oh, yeah. They're being beat to death. Found in dumpsters, yeah. cut up. That's right. And then when we teach this, some of these sick mothers tell their daughters, "Well, look, don't, don't, don't pay that no mind. Whatever you're gonna do, you just do it private. You ain't no mother." Not a mother. That's true. Don't be afraid. That's right. To chastise your children. Amen. 
Well, I want to be my daughter's big sister. Be a mother. Be a mother. That's right. You can't be a mother. You should have kept your legs closed. Go ahead. So you young girls think it's a big deal because someone compliments your little behind? So you put on skin tight pants. Yeah. Tight as you can get them. That's right. And then just switch around. Switching. You know you don't walk like that. Amen. But just trying. <laughs> just primping. Go ahead. Got your blouse buttoned down, and they want to raise your sick your chest up. Looking silly. You got to show your breasts and your behind and your calf to get a man. Amen. You can get any dog that way. Any dog. That's right. That's right. See, that shows that you ain't got no intelligence. Yeah. Because an intelligent woman can use her mind. That's right. In an intelligent manner, not in a seductive way. That's right. But she's intelligent. But you got to get intelligence before you can exercise it. Yeah. Amen. You young people think you know. But the only thing you know how to do is lay on your back and get on your knees. You don't know much. No, I don't know much. Dogs got you beat. That's right. They take care of them. That's right. Even ducks take care of their young. Ducks will shut traffic down. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Can't do it? Oh, yeah. Oh, man, ducks shut down traffic. That's right. I almost live on the highway. That's right. Amen. I'm traveling the road, sometimes traffic all backed up. And by the time you come up, a whole family of ducks. Some ducks. <laughs> They're looking back at you like to say, yeah, we bad. We bad. <laughs> That's something. But if you evaluate them, they follow the mother. That's right. So that means you mothers have to be an example worth following. Amen. Do you understand? Yes. So what's the big deal? You have on a skirt about this big. Your thighs all out. Yeah, it's something. And a split in that. And you want to go clubbing. That's it. A boy here, you here, and a boy in back of you. Yeah. You in the middle, just jumping. That's right. Boy grinding on in the front, boy grinding on you the back, boy grinding on the side of your side. That's right. And you don't mind it. Don't mind. Why? Ask yourself why. Is that the best you can do? You mean to tell me you don't even think much of yourself other than a piece of meat? Amen. Mm. You viewers that are watching me now. Mm -hmm. You don't even have the luxury to hate this program. This program gives you everything you need. That's right. More than any program that's on any telecast in the world. That's right. We deal with everything. 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 Look at the way the public has made society hate themselves. Yeah. You hate yourself. So you get these fake breast implants. Amen. You get a bunch of sponges and inner tube in your backside. That's right. Can't even sit down right. <laughs> Jump up like a spring. <laughs> huh? Go ahead. Sit down, get come up. <laughs> you understand? That's you get right. what I'm telling you? That's right. You attracted to some sick movie star in LA. Oh, yeah. You want to get your lips like hers. Right. Amen. Your eyes like hers. Amen. What's the matter with the way God made you? That's right. Then your face all sliced up and you walking around looking like I don't know what. 
<laughs> like you've been damaged. That's right. <laughs> That's what they look That's all true. pinned up. Right. Trying to talk. Trying to What's talk. your name? What you say? That's all jacked up. Jacked up. What's wrong with the way God made you? That's right. Why you need fake eyelashes? Why you need fake fingernails? Why you need fake toenails? What's the matter with the real you that God made? Amen. Why you need some hair from CVS or Walgreens? Why you gotta wear a paintbrush on your nappy head? Go ahead, brother. If your hair is good enough for God, Go why can't it be good enough for you? If you can't love yourself, don't look for love from nobody else. Go ahead, brother. Love the way God made you. Amen. That's true. All these hair extensions like someone done lost their shoestrings. Go ahead. No, their hair ain't that long. That's whipping your paintbrush around. <laughs> Getting it all caught up in something. <laughs> Lord and God. Go ahead. Are you listening to the old troublemaker? Hear me, your father, O child. Listen. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3 and verse 1. Hear. Hear me, your father. Hear me, your father. O children. O children. And do thereafter. And do what you told. That ye may be safe. Amen. That's why we preach hard like this. Amen. Make it safe for you. Safe. Yeah. Our young people were falling victim by the thousands to crack. Yeah. Young girls, man. Oh selling themselves just to get a hit. That's right. Then my young girl I grew up with, a whole family of us grew up together. Beautiful sister. Became a nurse. And when I saw the brother who was telling me, he said, Nick, man, my sister, man, she got close strung out on crack. We couldn't find her for several days. Back in the old hood where I come from, Huntington Park. So the father and the brother got together with a bunch of brothers from the hood. Searched the whole hood. No crack house was safe. They went kicking doors down. Found this daughter. Beautiful sister. He couldn't even recognize his own child. Days without washing, teeth done fell out. What kind of friend is that that will lead you to the cemetery? That's right. See, viewer, God can clean you up from all of this because we have many people here that were victims. Amen. And if God has cleaned them up, God can do the same thing for you. That's right. God is in the cleaning business. But why? The people are not getting clean in church. They're being entertained. Right. In church. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. You take the spirit of God, viewer. That's what it takes. To clean the people. Amen. You take the spirit of God to fix the people. I encourage you that are watching, repent of your sins. Be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Seek God for the Holy Ghost. Whatever church you're in that's not teaching holiness, leave it. Leave it. I don't care how long you've been there. Leave it. Leave it. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters. God gave us all something good. Anybody here want to obey the word of God and repent of your sins and be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ so your sins can be washed away, which is a divine commandment. You bow your head and raise your hands. You ain't done nothing but got a tired arms and sore neck. If you join the church, God didn't tell you to join no church. The Lord said, confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus that he rose from the dead. If you believe in your heart, you shall be saved. He didn't say it the moment you do it, you're saved. No. 
It is written, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. Without baptism in the name of the Lord Jesus, you cannot be saved. Anybody want to obey God's word and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, you can have it today. Stand on your feet, brother or sister. One, two, three, four, five. Wonderful. All right. Who's my sisters here on the baptismal committee? Raise your hand and move quick. You sisters, follow that sister over there. Brother Mark, where are you? You brothers, follow this gentleman right there so he can take you to the right place to get yourself together. Taj, where are you? Get yourself together for baptism in the name of Jesus Christ so these souls can get their sins washed away. You other sisters that's on the baptismal committee, get Sister Matthews a hand real quick. We're still fishing. Thank God we got a hook in the water to stay there. Stay there until the Lord come. Cork just keep bobbling. Huh? We have everlasting bait. Everlasting bait. Everlasting bait. Glory to God. It's what everybody must do. You young person. You young person, it's time for you to start making a change. You may as well stop this partying and all this sexing around and all. You might as well gum the grips with reality. You might as well start getting, the Lord says this, remember thine creator in the days of thine youth. God asks you to remember him while you're young. That's what God wants from you. Nah, you don't want to give yourself to God. You'd rather give yourself to a chain gang. Just so a bunch of sleazy fellas can brag about you. You'll get educated right away. There's too many of our young people dying from HIV and from AIDS. Is that right? Give your life to God while you're young. After the meeting is over, they'll be serving dinner downstairs. You're more than welcome. You don't have to run out and leave. Go downstairs and fellowship with one another and get you some food and talk about the devil that sent you. <laughs> Tell your brother, man, you know what the devil made me do? Hey, look, my devil's worse than yours. <laughs> All of us need God's word. Without it, we'll be a people in bad shape. I'm glad for the souls that's going down the water. You young person, I want you to consider it. Think about it. Young, middle-aged and old, think about it. You cannot see the Lord in peace without repenting of your wrong. What is repentance? When you're sorry about all the wrong you ever done. There's no apology made to me. Your repentance is between you and God. From the depths of your heart, you talk to God and repent and let God know how sorry you are and mean it. I don't have no problems getting you to water. I repented of my sins, was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ when I was six. Sought the Lord for the Holy Ghost and received it at 11. I remember the Lord while I was young. He deprived me of my youth. God robbed me of my youth. God stole it. Took it from me. Preordained me with a whole different occupation. Robbed me of my youth. God did it. Glory to God. The young person can't tell me I don't know what it's like. You can't tell me that. I'm 46. I'm still a young man, but you can't tell me that. I have the best teacher. And God is that teacher. Remember God while you're young. Because see, while you're young and naive and mentally unbalanced, you're going to get into a whole lot. For some, and for others, they won't. But the advantage to this generation 
They can get teaching. It's available. But it's up to you to accept it. Wisdom versus ignorance, a wise person would choose what? Wisdom. But today, young folk want to back talk mother, back talk daddy, because you think you know everything. You forgot they the one taught you left from right. But now you know everything. They the one taught you your first word, had to wipe your behind. And now you know everything. Is it written, he that think he know, knoweth nothing. Some don't know what they should know.